Hello dear students. Welcome back to my science class. Today I am going to teach you a very interesting chapter. Any guesses children? I hope picture depicting its name. Yes, you are right. Today I am going to teach you chapter heat. In this lesson we are going to learn definition and unit of heat, definition of temperature, measurement of temperature by using different temperature scales, types of thermometer and their properties, interconversion between temperature scales. I expect it will be very interesting to learn this part. So let's start. Heat is the form of energy that is transferred between the two substances at different temperature. The direction of flow of energy is from the substance of higher temperature to the substance of lower temperature. That means energy transfer between the two substance of different temperature that is heat. As a form of energy, heat is measured by the unit joule, J-O-U-L-E, joule. That is the unit of heat in SI system. However, in many applied fields in engineering, the British Thermal Unit, BTU, and the calorie are often used. So, unit of heat is joule in SI unit. British thermal unit and calorie are also oftenly used unit of heat. Hot or cold? In our daily life, we come across a number of objects. Some of them are hot and some of them are cold. Example, tea is hot and ice is cold. In our daily life, we often decide which object is hotter than other by touching the objects. We cannot always rely on our sense of touch to decide how hot and cold an object is. If I want to elaborate this, look at this boy having three bowl. Three bowl containing water of different temperature. The blue one containing cold, the pink one containing warm and the last one containing hot. Right? If he has kept his one hand on the blue bowl that is containing the cold water and keep one hand on the this one second bowl light pink in color containing warm water then his feeling will tell him that his second hand is on hot water and first hand is on cold water. If he just shift and one hand kept in the warm water and the other hand is in the hot water, so now his sense of feeling will tell him that his hand that is warm water is colder and the hot water is definitely hotter than that. So, our sense of touch is always not a very reliable mode to make us understand that a given object is hot or cold because we always compare with our surroundings to understand whether a given object is hot or cold. But if we precisely want to know that how hot an object is, that is measured by temperature. We want to understand how hot or cold an object is. We can measure it by temperature. What is temperature? The concept of temperature has evolved from the common concept of hot and cold. Just now we have discussed. Temperature is operationally defined to be what we measure with a thermometer. If we want to say precisely how hot or how cold an object is, so we have to mention its temperature. How we can measure the temperature? With the help of thermometer. The basic unit of temperature in SI system is Kelvin and its symbol is K.
measurement of temperature. There are three types of temperature scales commonly used today. What are those? Those are Celsius, Fahrenheit and Kelvin scale for measuring temperature. We will learn one by one. First is Fahrenheit. The first thermometer were glass and contained alcohol, which expanded and contracted as temperature changed. The German scientist Daniel Gabriel Fahrenheit used mercury in the tube for the first time. The freezing point of water was defined as 32 degree Fahrenheit and the boiling point as 212 degree Fahrenheit. The Fahrenheit scale is typically not used for scientific purposes. Celsius scale the Celsius scale of metric system is named after Swedish astronomers Anders Celsius. The Celsius scale sets the freezing point and boiling point of water at 0 degree Celsius and 100 degree Celsius respectively. The distance between these two points is divided into 100 equal intervals, each of which is 1 day. Another term sometimes used for Celsius is scale is centigrade. As because 100 grades are there, so centigrade. Because there are 100 degrees between the freezing and boiling point of water on this scale. However, the preferred term is Celsius. Kelvin scale. The Kelvin temperature scale is named after Scottish physicist and mathematician Lord Kelvin. The freezing point of water on the Kelvin scale is 273.15 K while the boiling point is 373.15 K. During the time of calculation, for our own convenience, we take it as a round figure of 273 and boiling point of water as a round figure of 373 Kelvin. Notice that here is no degree used in the temperature designation. That means while reading also, I am not telling 373.15 degree Kelvin. Rather, I am telling 373.15 Kelvin. No degree. Unlike the Fahrenheit and Celsius scale, where temperature are referred to as degree Fahrenheit and degree Celsius, we simply designated temperature in the Kelvin scale as Kelvin. Now, different types of thermometer. How we will measure the thermometer? Yeah, definitely measurement of temperature by using the scales, but we need an instrument to measure the temperature. That is thermometer. Thermometers are of four types basically. What are those? Clinical thermometer, digital thermometer, laboratory thermometer and maximum and minimum thermometer. We will learn about all these four types of thermometer one by one. Clinical thermometer. Clinical thermometer is used to measure the body temperature. The scale of temperature is graduated from 35 degree centigrade to 42 degree centigrade because always our body temperature remain within this range and or form 94 degree Fahrenheit to 108 degree Fahrenheit. The temperature of human body always remains within this range and this range is present on clinical thermometer. Clinical thermometer consists of a long narrow uniform glass tube. It consists of a long narrow uniform glass tube. Here is a bulb. This bulb contains mercury. When this clinical thermometer come in contact with the human body, it gets the temperature and mercury starts expanding. 
mercury expands and it stops at a particular point there we read to know what the temperature of human body is at that time when we are measuring it right the kink there is a kink above the bulb to prevent the backflow of mercury now this is a unique feature of the clinical thermometer which we do not find in other thermometers we have just taken the name not in laboratory thermometer not in maximum and minimum thermometer not in digital thermometer so there is a kink present on the bulb why the kink is present to prevent the backflow of the mercury why we need to prevent the backflow of the mercury because to measure the temperature of human body we need to take in out the thermometer out of the body so whenever we are taking out the thermometer the level of mercury may fall in down so we may not get the actual temperature of the body so there is the kink that will prevent backflow of the mercury and we can get the actual thermometer you might have noticed that before using the thermometer we generally shake it we shake it so that we send the mercury to the bulb that is prevented because of the kink next is digital thermometer i hope most of you have seen this thermometer only very handy and easy to use easy to read digital thermometers are an advance to the existing clinical thermometers due to high toxicity of the mercury present in the clinical thermometers and difficulty in its disposal in cases when the thermometer breaks digital thermometer are manufactured and that can measure the accurate temperature without the use of mercury there is a temperature sensor that help us to know the exact body temperature and any child even can read what the temperature of the body is at that time digital thermometer do not use mercury hence safe to use that is the advantage of digital thermometer over clinical thermometer next is laboratory thermometer you can see a long narrow tube of laboratory thermometer without any kink a laboratory thermometer is a tool used in laboratories to measure temperature with high accuracy it can be partially or fully immersed in the substance being measured a laboratory thermometer is recognizable by its long stem with a silver bulb at the end range of the temperature you see it is minus 10 to 110 degree celsius unlike clinical thermometer where we have only 35 to 42 degree celsius because its purpose was different to measure the body temperature but in laboratory thermometer we need to measure temperature of different chemicals different thing so range is also higher if we wanted to use clinical thermometer in that case what will happen that mercury will expand so much that thermometer can burst when you read the temperature on a thermometer it should be vertical and your eyes should be level with the top of the liquid in the glass tube in order to remove perilous error avoid handling of thermometer when you take your reading because there is no kink so we have to read the temperature whenever the thermometer is at its position the heat from your hands will transfer to the glass causing the temperature to rise so we will not touch it it will remain vertically erect and we will level our eyes to read the temperature in case of laboratory thermometer once again we will mention that the range is quite means longer next maximum and minimum thermometer this is one maximum and minimum thermometer maximum and minimum thermometer is a u shaped parallel tube made up of glass one side registers the maximum temperature and the other side records the minimum temperature here you can see that max for measuring the maximum temperature min for measuring the 
minimum temperature. Thermometer is used where when one wants to know the maximum and minimum temperature during a day. It indicates current temperature along with the highest and lowest temperature since it was last set. So it shows the rise of the temperature, the current temperature and the lowest temperature on that day since it was last set. So we can compare compare between the yesterday's and today's temperature. Now this is very very important interconversion of temperature scale. Three temperature scales we have read about Celsius, Fahrenheit and Kelvin. So how this formula we are getting interconversion of the three temperature scale. C stands for Celsius minus 0 by 100 equal to F minus 32 by 180 equal to K minus 273 by 100. How we are getting this relationship? There is a certain rule. What is that? C stands for Celsius minus 0. 0 is the lower set point of the Celsius scale. That is the freezing point of the water. And there is 100 equal divisions in between 0 to 100 degree Celsius. That's why C minus 0 by 100 equal to F stands for Fahrenheit minus 32 degree is the freezing point of water. And there are 180 equal divisions between 32 and 212. So, F minus 32 by 180 equal to K minus 273 by 100. K stands for Kelvin and, low, and the freezing point of water is 273 and there are 100 equal division between 273 and 373. We will use the following formula during the numerical. If we have to convert between Celsius to Fahrenheit, F equal to 9 by 5 C plus 32. And if we have to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius, C equal to 5 by 9 within bracket F minus 32. So I hope in this chapter you have got a clear idea about all the different type of temperature scales, their interconversion, what is heat, what is temperature etc. In our next class we are going to discuss three modes of heat transfer and their practical applications. Thank you.